it's that time of the year again, our favorite time of the year, where we must prepare to be zapped. Hello, it's Jacob at the Starfighters Arcade booth here at ZapCon 7. We begin our journey at the 7th ZapCon at our booth where we have our friendly staff on hand hosting pinball tourneys and also giving out free merchandise, including chocolates. On the convention floor there are a ton of video arcade machines to be played. You may see a few from our establishment, but a good majority are not. Some gems include Zookeeper, Pengo, and Super Pac-Man. Along with the arcade machines, there are a plethora of pinball machines to be played around the center. You have your classics aplenty, plus the latest releases from Stern, including the Munsters pin that we personally bought from the event. Expect to see it at the arcade soon. As well as those games, you can also find some older electromechanical or shooting games. A few standouts would be Bazooka, where you must shoot as many enemy vehicles without shooting the Red Cross, and everybody's favorite, Baseball, where you gotta score as many home runs as you can without getting out, of course. With the many machines you may encounter, you may run into a few rare machines you may not find out in the wild, like Wild Western or this cool looking Asteroids machine that was licensed out to Sega for release in Japan, or how about Strikes and Spares which is basically bowling pinball, a perfect combination. But that isn't enough, because even amongst the arcades, pinballs, and others, you'll find a few custom-made machines. Space Paranoids looks very interesting, but Triangle Wars was pretty cool. Kinda like an Asteroids clone with a few more elements thrown in to make it stand out on its own. Starfighters isn't the only one hosting tournaments around here. ZapCon itself has a lot going on. Various pinball tournaments going around, plus several arcade tourneys. If you find more of the same games next to each other, chances are there's a tournament happening. Looking around the right side of the floor, it's clear to see the many vendors waiting to sell. Our pal Moto Glass is still going strong selling his San Edge glasses, and there's a bunch of retro video games to purchase. This vendor here is selling marquees, and we definitely need this Pac-Man Plus. Venturing away from the main hall into other parts of the convention where we find more vendors as well as the console lounge where Atari, Nintendo, and Sega consoles surround the room plus many other forms of entertainment to wait you. Big NES controllers anyone? As I said, games aren't the only source of entertainment in the console lounge. The mini bosses perform some of the classic gaming tunes we all know and love. A few you may not remember, but most I'm sure you'll get. But of course, ZapCon would not be complete without having friends alongside you to enjoy the festivities. Jody, David, and Mike were all present along with other familiar faces having a good time playing all that there is to play.
Zapcon 7 was a fantastic show filled with great games and wonderful people. We always enjoy ourselves here at this event, and we can't wait for next year to roll around. On behalf of the Starfighter staff, I'm Jacob Ross. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you at Zapcon 8. Oh no, I missed out on the enamel pin.